Hey guys, Shepkid23 here, and this is another edition of Herp Help. Um, I think this is like episode 5 or something like that. I have to check. Um, but yeah, this one is gonna be about how to, like, if, you're ha if your reptile has like a shedding problem or something, and how to clear that away. This is a little mix I use. This is, um, olive oil. It's, um, uh, not many people know about it but i use olive oil and one part of olive oil and one part of water i mix it and then yeah that's basically how it turns into a nice liquidy form it takes the shut off right away i leave it on for them for a while and then i usually um just rub my finger through it through like the shutter or something and then um it comes off i mainly use it for my savannah since savannas are they they're big lizards and they shed by pieces they don't shed like leopard geckos do um by hole and stuff so what you do is you get some of the olive oil and you rub it on their back my savannah really doesn't need this right now since it's shedding pretty good because i have good humidity in the cage but what i do is rub a little bit of that Right there, on its back. Let me rub it right there, because it has like a little piece that's shedding. I'm using him as, a, as an example. Yes, yeah, I'm on the tail too. But yeah, I I don't like to do it that much because my savannas pretty skittish and stuff. They don't stay still. But yeah, basically, you just get a cotton swab and just put some. Olive oil with some water on it, and then rub it through wherever they're shedding on, which is my for my savannas on the back, right there. Appears a little bit shiny. Let me try rubbing it off a little bit. Again, um, what you do is just leave it on their back for a while, and then um. When you get the chance, soak them a little bit, and the shed comes right off. And something else that you could use if you don't want to soak them or anything, um, is uh, these tweezers. You can get these at reptilebasics.com. Um, you what you do is with these, since they have like a nice um, sh like not sharp, but um very good edges like that you can um pick up the shed like that and then peel it off so it's good for, to go in between like scales and stuff to get the shed off if it has like a problem shedding or something but um yeah that's something you can do um but yeah let me just it doesn't always come off if you rub it with your hand, by the way. I like to soak them and then, um, doing that because it comes off right away. But yeah, I need to do a late misting in a cage. But, um, that's, wait, let me show you an example. This is how it comes off. Your shed comes out really good. You just move around this dirt and stuff. It's a bit dry. I need to mist it. But, um, yeah, you could do this with your leopard geckos. You can do it with, if you have, like, a snake that has a, that's having a bad shed or anything. Because, you know, sometimes you have that reptile that you might miss the cage and everything, but then might have, like, a slight shedding problem or something one day. But trust me, if you keep your humidity high in your cages and stuff, um, you won't have any shedding problems. At least I don't. Um, sometimes just with my savannah because since they're big and they shed shed by pieces and stuff, you know, sometimes shed gets stuck in between the legs and stuff. But like right there on her arms and stuff. But yeah, she's almost like done shedding and all that. Yeah, she looks very nice and clean. Makes them look pretty shiny, as you can see.
she's pretty fat too. She got that tail fat. But yeah, um, she's a female, by the way. Well, but I know. Um, but yeah, that's just what you can do. So your reptiles won't have any shedding problems and stuff. But yeah, there's many different way things you can do out there, like set up a nice um moist hide and stuff. But yeah, try different things and yeah, have a good time. Be out! Don't forget to comment. Rate and subscribe. I missed the following. But, um, yeah, that's it.